though he's Holy Ghost still. Water baptized. And the next voice is uh, on the playroom, Pastor, our very own. Our very own. Our very own. Pastor E. Yes, right. Is in the house. Yes. Give me a hand, praise. Hallelujah. Get this on because I want everybody to hear this. I was sitting there, and as you said, this is like the house of adoption. Yes, yes, yes. You come up in here, you'll get adopted. <laughs> Quick. Quick. That's right. Immediate win now. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah, that's right. And, and you have to believe that God sent you. That's right. That's right. That's right. And know that when He sent you, yeah. He's going to provide for you. You remember when He sent them out by two? He said, if the door don't open, don't try to get in. Don't force your way in. Yes. You gotta learn to follow. Yes. Mm, follow. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's 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 one in itself. The following game. Yes. Something I'm dealing with daily in my life. Amen. And in my walk with God is the following game. That wasn't even the message today, but we're gonna we are going to we are going to mix that in because this is not my job. This is I mean it's my job, but it's not my position, it's God's. Yes. Right. Yes, yes. Amen. And we're not gonna let nothing defeat us. Nothing stop us. That's right. yes. Nothing get in the midst of what God is doing. Yes, yes, and not what he's doing it tomorrow or yesterday, but what he's doing right yes. now. Yes. See, I'm looking for a right now yes. blessing yes. from God. I'm looking for something yes. that, that is not that I have to wonder about or question about. I know I serve God because I want to I want to experience him now. Not when I get home and not when I go to work. I want to experience him every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year. And keep it going. The same, I want to, I do this so I can experience Jesus. And, then, and when I finally got that, I understood there was nothing greater. To experience Jesus, not as, as, as I would like to, but as he would like me to. This is resurrection month for me. I, I'll, I'll tell you guys that something I do yearly is when it's resurrection time, it's time for me to resurrect me. All right. The, the, the name of the sermon, the, the, the sermon today would be, if I had one, a one-time deal. Say that with me. One-time deal. The one-time deal is that there was the only one beating. There was only one persecution, there was only one cross, there was only one death, there was only one burial, and there was only one get up. He will not come and die for you again. One time deal. He will not come and shed his blood for you again. One time deal. So so, so I had to understand that when he did it for me, I have to start doing it for myself. One time deal. You have to take advantage of it when? Right now. It's not tomorrow. The Bible says in, in Matthew 6 and 33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of righteousness, that one deal. And all these things will be added unto you. When? Right now. But are you ready to receive what God has for you? No, no, no. Say it. Are you ready to receive what God has for me? Because that old saying, what God has for me, is for nobody else but me. Not your husband, not your friend, not your sister, your brother. But what God has for you is only for you. Stop trying to share. Stop trying to give it away. Stop trying to avoid what God has already said is for you. And this is what's so great about the God I serve. He's a right now God. He said, you're healed, you're not healed tomorrow, you're healed right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I don't point fingers, Apostle. Hallelujah. But I will call a spot a spot. Hallelujah. White, white, black, black. Hallelujah. And some folks out there still preaching, he got up. No, he's already up. Yeah. Some people out there saying he's on the cross. No, he's not. I'm on the cross. Yeah. Some people out there talking about he's in the grave. No, they know there's not going to be another stone. You better understand today that, that, that the closer you get in a walk with Jesus, you know it's not somebody else, but it's your walk and it's his walk that you must follow. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to say that again. Not 
Apostle's walk, not Pastor Mike's walk, not Pastor E, but your own walk, and it must resemble Jesus. You know, that first step starts by faith. You got to have some faith. If you have faith, you have nothing, because without faith, it is impossible to please God. You must have a need and a desire. You know, I, say, I share with people all the time. I say, if you really want to do what God called you to do, find out what makes you happy. What makes you get up in the morning and want to go clock in? What makes you wake up in the morning and say, bless you, uh, uh, bless them, heal them? What gives you a desire greater than anything else? See, that's when you got a need that's not of yourself, it's of God. You get a need in you, now you have to get an acceptance of what God has called in your life. Yes. You know, you see, we, I, I heard uh, Pastor, he said, he, Pastor, Pastor, Apostle, Apostle. You know what? God said we're all ministers of reconciliation. Then he made us ambassadors of the same reconciliation. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And then after the reconciliation mode, you had to now know the word of reconciliation. What does that mean? That whatever was wrong can be right. Whatever somebody said bad about you, you're uh, turn around. Somebody said you was no good, you're better. Somebody said you were ugly, you're beautiful. Whatever the world has said about you, you can turn it around with the word of God. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna sing one. We're gonna, we're gonna bless the, we're gonna bless the house. But 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 we gotta set standards before we get all excited in the music and, and thinking it's all about the song. No, it's about the sound. It's about the sound of worship. Yeah. It's about the sound of unity. It's about the sound of oneness that says, no longer am I trying to look at what you're doing or trying to judge what you got going on. I am trying to deal with this right here because what God has for me is for me. Oh, not only the good stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to slow down on that one. Not only the good stuff because we always think it's peaches and creams. No, I, first thing I experienced when I really got sold out Oh hell, bro! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what was the difference is that I just didn't know how to deal with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when you learn to get in Christ and not in yourself, you can deal with the hell because hell won't keep on yeah. coming. Yeah. It don't stop just because you get saved. The enemy is seeking such to devour. Yeah. 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 He is like a roaring lion, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Yeah. Not your body or your house or your money, but your mind. That you can't do it, or you're no good, or you're not called. Yeah. Well, our word today is, is that this is your season for your calling. Amen. This is your season to understand that Jesus has already paid the cross, paid the cost. What are we gonna start to pay? All right. All right. When am I gonna really understand what it means to follow Jesus? That's what we're gonna talk about today. All right. yeah. What it really requires, what's the requirements of following Jesus? Because no longer am, is he on the cross. Yeah, yeah. But I'm on the cross. Yeah, yeah. He says, if anyone, Luke chapter 9, verse 23, if you need a, need a scripture to start with today. Uh -huh. Luke chapter 9, verse 23, he says, if anyone, anyone. let's stop right there. So we can stop excluding folks. Uh, right. I don't care that man outside that just robbed somebody. He still is anyone. That man in prison, that woman in prison, they are still part of anyone. Do you know the Bible says that for God so loved the world? Don't you know that was when you was in your bad state? That's right, that's right. Yeah. That wasn't like when you were saved. That he says he died for your transgressions and your yes. sins. Yes. You had to be a sinner for him to die for you. Yes, yes, yes. We get to church and we think we all that. Glory to God. Oh, I'm this and I know I'm not. I'm still a wretched soul. But because of Jesus and the price that's been paid. So I don't have to worry about that more no more because it's already done. The Bible also says that everything God has done is finished, complete. You can't add to it. You can't take away. But you must have an account for your past. Are you still in your past? See, if you are in your past, you'll never be, never be any better than you used to be. I'm going to say that again. If you live in your past, oh, you got a new dress, new hair, do all that. But if you live in your past, you can never be any better than you were in your past. 
I don't lie no more. Well, you just don't let nobody hear you. I don't cuss no more. You just don't go around the church folks and cuss. I don't act up ugly no more. Well, why don't you get fired from your job? I'm not trying to point fingers. I'm trying to say that we must be so accountable to being a Christian. You know it's time to go to work. It is time to go hard work. Work like never, ever before. Work like never, ever before. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to claim their season today. Yeah, yeah. This is my season for grace, for favor. Yeah. This is my season to reap what I have sown. Come on, you can see with me. This is, this is my for grace, for favor, this is my season to reap. See, this is my testimony. I know I'm not perfect, but I show me faithful. See, God.
No more stressing. Yeah. I've got to see uh -huh. in the ground. Yes. Now I know him. Yes. And I can show him. Yes. This is my season. Yes. For grace. Yes. And for mercy. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. It ain't nothing wrong with shouting for Jesus. But giving him all the praise, all the glory that is deserving unto him. All respect to this house. Glory to God. I'm a, I am adopted son of this house. And, yes. and I know that someone is watching over me. Yes. I got the east covered. I got the west covered. I got yes. the see. You all need some protection. Yes, yes, yes. How many times have someone prayed over your life a hedge my, 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 of protection? My, 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 my. And you still get attacked. My, 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 my. Do you know that a hedge is not one bush. It is a multiple of bushes. That have to be strategically put in the right place to make a hedge. Look at some of your front yard. If you have one bush, then you just got a bunch of dirt. But if you get a hedge, that means you have a hedge of protection. You can't get through the protection of a hedge because now you are fortified. I know that your prayer, your prayer of protection in my life, I have to be the one to strategically put it where I need it. I have to know that my brother stands for me in a different area and I have to put him in the right place at the right time to get the right protection. Yes. So I pray a hedge of protection over each and every one of us that now we start to work on our own gardens. You don't need no gardener in your garden. You need to get your own hoard. What they call that thing a hoard? I didn't want to say them. They call it a hoard, but you know the world. Said, I was trying to get out of that, but Get a hole and get, clean your own garden and watch the harvest. Watch the harvest. I know when I cut my own grass, it's greener. When I water my lawn, it looks better. Hey, somebody else, I'm upset. I gave him 40. I could have done that. See, you better take care of your own garden. Bless you, Apostle. I love, Apostle, I love you. And you are a mother to me. And we may be close in age. I know I look young, but I got a little age on me. But in the spirit, I, I feel the, 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 the humbleness to say, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. and, and believe me, I don't care how old you get, you can always mind some body. Um, I don't care how old you get. I don't care how big you get in your position. I don't care how many promotions you get. You will always mind somebody. My book is make your mind up. I'm going to mind somebody, but let me mind God, and then I know who to mind. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible reading this morning, Luke chapter 9. You understand. We relax. We good. We good. Luke chapter 9, verse 23. Then Jesus, and it, it says he, but I, I wouldn't know who he's talking about. Right. Then he said to them all. Now remember when I was just mentioning about anyone? You cannot exclude anybody from the resurrection. Yes. He died on that cross for everybody. Just because they haven't got up yet, that used to be me. But if we do more about reaching the all, do more about reaching the anyone's. Now I'm doing the work. Remember I said earlier, it's time to go to work. Then he said to them all, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross with daily and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Let it be a blessing to the hearers and the readers of this word today. If anyone, there we go with that anyone again, we must always remember that this job is to reach everybody. We get so big and so haughty. We think we arrived and we made it and we can overlook people. You better start looking back for people. God is encouraging us. When you are going to go through a resurrection, you must think about your brother and your sister. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. Now, we're going to stop right there because that ain't the, that's not a group conversation. He didn't say the whole church. He said you. Let him. And ladies, we talk about you too. He's no respect to a person. Amen. You guys are not excluded because he said man or he. Amen. When Jesus came, he came that all might have life and life more abundantly. He didn't just group us out. He said all. Oh, 
That's something else we got bad in the church. Talking about who's this and who's that. If you can stay in your position, you wouldn't have to worry about your position. I'm going to leave that on the lawn. Let him deny himself. You see this right here? This is Pastor E denying himself. Well, I was all excited this morning. I had my worship on. Got in there to shave. And Bang, Pastor E. I can't go to the church like that. And it was, and, and, and I'm not playing. It was like a tear down my face. And all I could do was remember my cross. And I had to deny myself. And God said, you, you, you just prepared yourself to deliver my word about following me and you want to quit? He said, get a band aid. I said, it's too big. He said, put it on anyway. <laughs> yes, sir. Look, they got little bitty baby band-aids I could put on. It was the only thing I could find. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But I had to deny myself. Because yes, yes, yes. that wasn't number me. Yes, yes. That wasn't number self. Yes, yes. But they don't think. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Is he crazy? <laughs> Let him deny himself. And take up his cross when they. Why do we wait for April and March to, to celebrate the cross? You're supposed to talk about the cross every day. Right. And not the cross of him, but the cross of you. Yeah. You got to see yourself on Calvary. Uh, you have to experience. Now watch this. You say, well, I, it's not going to happen. How do you know? Uh, All you have to do is say, use me. Taking up your cross and, 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 and following him doesn't mean you're beaten, beaten. It may be you don't eat today and you let somebody else eat. Yeah. Maybe maybe you don't drive your car. Maybe you take a bus or, get, or maybe you pick up somebody and take them to work. See, denying yourself means when it says no on the inside, you better say yes on the outside. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, no, no. Am I the only one to get them voices? Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. They ain't gonna, they ain't, not going to appreciate it. Have you ever offers? Have you ever like you know in, in our city? There's a lot. You yeah. put up in a corner, and somebody got a sign. You're like, man, all right, man, I give you something to eat. I don't want to eat. I want money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, you just leave. I couldn't. I had to go to McDonald's and still get the food and turn. Uh, lose ten minutes of my time and pull up back to that sign and say, uh, uh you're gonna eat today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's denying yourself. See, denying yourself is that you be last and somebody else is first. Oh, no, because if you don't do it on your own, God will do it. He says, I'll make the first last and the last first. You better get position. You better know there's a position to be. I know it's going to be last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all go ahead. You do it. You need some help? I'll help. I'm here to support you. Okay, come on, preach. And you end up right back where God wants you to be anyway. But now they're the ones put you up here. See, we try to make yourself first, even though God has made you first. Other people will say, oh, he's taking over. He's this. No, just take back seat. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all want to preach? No, oh, And he drove all the way out. Of no, no, no. You preach. And then they come up there and say, uh-huh, oh, you're preaching. I'm like, no, they want to preach. All your crew want to preach. Y'all should have had a group meeting. Deny yourself. Take up your cross daily. We got to get on a daily job. We have to get so, so intense about this cross thing. I am sick and tired and sick and tired of it being a one-year deal. New suits, new, I'm so blessed the way y'all did this today. Let your people go. And the ones that ain't here, they gonna be blessed too. Because who God wanted to be here this morning is here. I know I am preaching to the ones God wanted to hear this word. Follow him when? Take up your cross, win, daily. Yeah. Deny yourself, win, daily. Okay, now you say, well, I can do that like before I go to bed or when I get up in the morning. No. Let me explain to you what daily means. Whenever I say, I did this last time. But whenever I say win, you say now, win, 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 win. See, win has been defined as zero to five seconds. That is the time that anybody can grasp a God-given dream, vision, or idea before it passes away into never, never land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Most of our dreams have been lost because we said we didn't have time. Some of us are still at the same job we are because we didn't want to take more time. Some of us are still complaining because that's all we know how to do. But when you understand that daily is every second, you're constantly making your mind. Now, where is Don't, please, don't, don't give it away. We said now is zero to five seconds. Where is now? Where, where is now? Where, 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 where? On the outside? Oh, on the inside? Where is it? Where in the inside? My mind, my heart, my heart. Okay, okay. All right, here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Come here. Come here. I want, I want you to help me. I want you to help me. Okay? Here, get right here. Right here. Now, are you pretty fast with your hands? Okay. When I say take this now, I need to take it fast you can. Take it out. Too slow. Take it out. Too slow. Take it out. Too slow. Shoot, that's pretty fast. Huh? Take it out. Too slow. Here, get this way so it's possible to see. Look, look, look. Here, over here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Turn like this. Right here. Right here. Take it out. Too slow. Take it out. Too slow. Now, where did you take it before you took it? Oh, come on, preach this sermon. See, we got to understand that you can't do nothing on the outside unless you do it on the inside. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you think you're crazy, you will be crazy. If you think you're blessed, you, they say, why are you always blessed? Because I think I am. He said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your thinking. You got to go to work. When? Daily. For what profit, verse 25, for what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and himself destroyed or lost? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words, of him the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes. Now you got to understand something. In John 14, he says, I go to prepare a place for me. But you better get your mama get me. Because he was talking to me when he said you. He was talking to you when he said you. He wasn't saying, Pastor E, through you. He was saying, I go to prepare a place for you. But are you preparing your place for the place? See, when you follow the world, you can't be in the right place at the right time. You, when you're doing what the world says, you can't hear what the word says. He says, if you don't believe in me and my words. If you're ashamed of me and my words, why do you think he, you don't feel them around? But I always want to blame God and say, why did he let that happen? If you wouldn't have been in the wrong place at the wrong time, you could have never blamed God. See, accountability of following daily means I don't go there anymore. I don't even answer the phone calls no more. I was sharing yesterday. If you know hell is on the other end of 555 111222 why the hell did you answer it? <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. We, we, if you know that corruption is across the street, why did you walk into corruption? And if you know gossip is on the end of that line, why would you answer it unless you want to gossip? See, following daily really means that I am going to start to manage myself. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm great that I'm grateful that I have a possible prayer for me. Praying for me that I keep myself in line. Yeah, that I don't deny him and his words. He said, Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> you ain't following what he said. Yes, you did. Yeah. And if it's one bit of this word that you don't believe is true, you just cursed it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep it real today. Yeah. You wonder why the word ain't working? Because I know it does. It works for me. Yeah. But if you don't believe in the word, how can it ever work for you? He walked on water. I just can't see that. Was it frozen? You know, they make up all kinds of sin. Was it this? It was, and they must have had a plank underneath the water that he could walk on to make it look that way. They had a stage set up out there in the rolling sea that he had to walk on. No, you can't make sense of God because he is not a mysterious God. He is a miraculous God. Things that you never can imagine, God can do it. Things that you never ever thought of before, God has already done it. And let me claim this to you right now. Everything God made is good. It never turned bad. God didn't turn it bad. Amen. Everything God created, he created to be good and prosperous. Yeah. Yeah. 
But when we get involved in it, we destroy the whole thing. Oh, yeah, I'm preaching to somebody on this one. But we have to learn that you cannot turn your back on him when you say you belong to him. He is looking for us to show that we are so accountable to the word of God that you can't turn me away. I don't care what you say. Listen, brother, I believe the Holy Bible. Well, I don't. Okay, then go over there and talk. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to dispute you. But until you believe this, you can't hang up in here. I don't need friends that are not in agreement yeah. with the word of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I am not going to be the one on judgment day and say, well, he it sounded okay, but the word said it wasn't okay. Yeah, yeah. It looked like I could get away, but the word says you cannot. The wages of sin. Yeah. Apostle, you see, you can come preach right now. Tag team. The wages of sin is death. Yeah. It ain't no uh, 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 comas. It ain't no sleep time. It is death. Yes, yes, come on. And we ain't talking about no physical death. We talking about a spiritual death. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Well, you can't get through the day. Yes. Body can't even get through because your mind is so fixed on yourself. Yes. Somebody, somebody caught that one. But I tell you, verse 27. But I tell you, you truly, I tell you truly, there are some standing here who shall not taste death. Till they see the kingdom of God. My, 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 my. Woo! Do you, you get what that says? Oh, yeah. He already saw some believers there already. Oh, yeah. He already seen some people with faith that could walk on water just by believing. Yeah. Remember, he said to Peter, he said, Come, just come. Yeah. Keep your eyes on me. He didn't say, Here, it's this many feet, yeah. these many steps. He said, Just what? Come. 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 Same thing he's saying to us today, just follow. And you remember when he first had the experience with the disciples? Yeah. He said, come follow me. I'll make you fishermen of men. How long did it take them to follow? Immediately! Right. Yeah. See, some of us are still trying to be preached in the right follow. Right. Some of us are waiting for the right opportunity to follow. Somebody waits for money to come before you follow. Somebody think you're going to get a better job before you follow. Some people think you'll get a husband before you follow. Yeah. Let me tell you, you will not have nothing right. until you follow Jesus. Let me tell you, let's follow right now. Yeah. I need my time, baby. Well, then, get caught. Yeah, 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 yeah. With your shirt tail out. <laughs> get caught with the wrong shoes on. All right. And it's going to be not apostles' fault. It's not going to be the men and the women of God's fault. It's going to be your fault. Because you can't go, go to God and say, well, what about Apostle should have told me. He's going to say, no, no, no. She told you a million times. How many times she got to tell you? She told you that until she turned purple. And now you want to complain about her. Look at her. She's already being received. Oh, you going to see it? We're going to all be judged on the same line the same day. And it's going to be all requirement on how you followed. Who you followed. And when you followed. Follow me and you're going to probably get just what I get. Follow a man. Man will let you down. Man will deceive you. Man will rob you and steal from you. If you let him. But when you follow Jesus, that's why I say, nobody, oh, my head is built. They be bouncing off. They try. Every time they try, it gets stronger and stronger. And all I got to do is keep doing this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And they just keep on bouncing. <laughs> they just keep on bouncing. I'm like, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And you've been so good. But let me let me let me let me share with you. Uh, I need that one over there because it's almost dry. Please. But I got to share something with you here is that when you follow Jesus, you got to stop watching what other people are doing. We always want to judge somebody else before we get judged on our own. But if you go over to chapter verse uh, 49, same, same chapter. When you're following God, 
You must stop worrying about somebody else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now John answered and said, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name. And we forbid him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, oh my God, do not forbid him. For he who is not against us is for us. You better stop trying to judge somebody because they don't preach the way you preach. Stop judging somebody because they don't sing the way you sing. Look like you look, talk like you talk. You don't know what kind of allies you have out there, but if you stop judging, they'll come. See, God's building armies. It don't take a lot. It takes a few that will believe together that anyone because see, I believe that man, when I go deep into it, I look, the whole time that, that he had taught on the following process, remember he healed the, the little boy? Yes. I believe this little man was watching the whole time from far off. Yes. I believe he was, he, was, he was understanding that Jesus said, all you have to do is in my name. And he was yes. practicing from far off. Yes. Yes. He said, in his name? I believe in him. Yes. He said, if I do it in his name, because then you say right there, we saw a man Casting our demons in your name. But just because he wasn't part of our group. Just because he didn't belong to new life. Just because he didn't go to promote the purpose. He ain't worthy. You better watch your mouth. Cause what God has for what? You is for you. You better let God, God be the judge. And learn to judge yourself. Huh. Stop judging. And understand that God loves us all. The Bible also says that he is not slack to his promises. Yes, 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 yes. He desires that we all make it. Oh, yes. Even the people that did you wrong. Yes, yes, yes. Even the people that you had to forgive. He still is waiting on them to come. Yes, yes, yes. But in closing, I want to share that there's a cost all right. for following Jesus. All right. It's not a free ride. Windows of heaven, they don't just open up and cars fall out, and houses fall out, jobs fall out. No. What happens is, is that you learn that you got to pay the cost to be with the boss. Go down a little bit with me to verse 57. Now, if there was a, you got to, if you read this story, there was a lot of people following Jesus. There was, and he was intriguing. You know, he, he drew people to him. You know why? Because he lifted up God. What did he tell us? He said, if I be lifted up, yeah. I'll draw all men unto me. Yeah. We waiting on them to come through the door. No, let's just get them to him. Yeah. That's going to catch up in five, four, three, two, one. Verse 57. Now it happened as they journeyed on the road that someone said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, foxes have holes and birds have, of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Then he said to another, follow me. But he said, Lord, let me, let me go take care of my business first. Let me close, let me, let me bury my money so it's there when I come back. Let me settle all my accounts. But he said, watch, he said, but he said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. Jesus said to him, said, let the dairy, the dead bury the dead. But you go and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow you, but let me go first and bid them farewell who are at my house. But Jesus said to him, no one, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Why do we always look backwards? I wish I could have, would have, should I should have been an NBA basketball player if I would have, should have went to college. I could have had a master's degree if I would have, could have, should have. See, that's what the past will always have you do. What the past always does, makes excuses. Whine and, and murmur and tell you can't do it. You're too old. Tell you can't do it. You're not this. You're not smart enough. You're not this. But God says, watch this. If, if you are willing to deny yourself, follow him right now, you've already caught up. You are in the right position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pastor Mike said earlier, this is uh, John 14, one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible. John 14, 12, he said, if you believe in me yeah. and the works that I do, yeah. you can do also. Yeah. And greater, Great. Ooh, Great. works you will do. Yeah. 
Some people think they got a degree right there. Some people think they got elevated to bishop. Do you know? Do you know what God did most on this earth in the form of Jesus? I'm picking. What do you think? Just anything. Well, what, did you, what, what did Jesus do more while he was on earth? Obey his father. He did that, but that's not, that's not, that's not it. Anybody else? Come on, y'all know when I say it, you're going to be like, man, that's right. Pray. Then come on now. What did he do more on this earth? He prayed. He didn't heal until he prayed to the Father. Yeah. He didn't walk on water until he prayed to the Father. You remember? He went up the mountain. He put them in the boat on that second boat trip. He put them on the boat by himself. Yeah. He said, meet me on the other side. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Peter, who I believe kept his eyes on Jesus the whole way, yeah, yeah, yeah. even when he faded into the fall, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe Jesus, Peter was there. I knew if I keep my eyes on him, there he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was there. Yeah. And now he had to receive and do what? Follow him. Follow, follow. Yeah. But all you got to do is come. He got to come now. Yeah. And I'm going to say to you right now, I don't care what you have done. Yeah. I don't care if you just committed a crime right now. I don't care if you got a gun for to rob somebody right now. God says, stop. He still wants you. Yeah. I wish this a message getting to prison today for everybody behind bars. God still wants you. Yeah. You come over here to the house of pardon. Come up into the house of, of adoption and get received by the Holy Ghost because God cares for you. And I know this sounds selfish, but he cares for me too. He is no respecter of person. And God is calling us to a place of resurrection. And I pray that anybody that heard this message today said, no, I'm going to live it every day. I ain't waiting on Easter time. That's why y'all can take this off. I can tell the kind of ministries I deal with. See, I can tell y'all are on y'all people because you couldn't let your people go if they needed a resurrection word today. You're teaching it every day about the cross. You're teaching people to take up your own cross daily and teaching folks to follow him daily. Amen. Amen. Help me, Father God, we thank you today. We thank you that your word has went forth. We thank you that you have used me, Lord, and I thank you that I have received a divine word. Lord, I will not be the same. I am changed. I am rearranged. I will leave this place different. Change, rearrange, and transform by the renewing of our minds. And Lord, we pray right now for every person in this house. Complete healing. Complete restoration. Complete anointing in this house, Lord, that as, 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 you, as you move through our sacrifice of communion today, Lord, that, that we receive and we, and, 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 and we believe and we achieve your spirit today, Lord, that, that we can do all things through you who strengthens us. I pray a special healing over this place today. A special anointing over this place today. That, Lord, the lives that come through that door. Huh will be completely delivered in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. And all in agreement said, Amen, Amen, Amen. 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 Hallelujah! 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 Glory to God. What a word, what a word, what a word. What a word. Mm. One time deal. One time deal. One time. Just one time, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So we don't want to always assume. So now we're going to open up the door. Amen. To the church. Hallelujah. You Amen. may have backslidden. You. Amen. You may have. Walked away. You may have just got tired. You may feel busted. Disgusted. Huh. 
pastor just said, you just say, come. There is power <coughs> in the name come. of Jesus. Come. And all of you that day. There is power in the name of Jesus. Yo, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus.
tables and tablets, the communion, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 